Good morning, dudes. How is it going? Today we're playing Tiny. We're going into the top lane. This was all random and uh, I got Tiny and I really enjoy playing Tiny, so I'm playing Tiny. It's really that simple. So we're going to go ahead and beat some people up with a Tiny. Yup. And, uh, well, actually Tiny got some interesting buffs in uh, a recent patch. I think, was it 6.84? Uh, I'm not actually entirely sure, but Ti Tiny got a buff to his W. So before it just selected a random unit in the a radius around him, which got thrown up into the air with the toss, right? But now it selects the units that's the unit that's uh, the closest nearby. Now that doesn't seem that important, but it actually really is, because with that you are now able to uh, drop an avalanche and then follow it up with a toss consistently, right? Like you can do that combo, which deals a thousand damage. Well, not a thousand, I think it's uh, actually 900 damage. You can do that consistently, which is a huge buff to what it was before. So actually going for a blink dagger on Tiny is super fucking legit, right? You just get yourself a blink dagger and just combo people. Actually, it's more of a, more, more like a thousand damage because Grow increases the damage, right? Forgot about that. So yeah, with one point into Grow, it's probably more like a thousand. Um, yeah, it's pretty damn powerful. It really is. And... Uh, Tiny is a respectable hero as a result. Like, this is really somebody that you have to be afraid of. And that you have to... You just gotta respect him. Like, that's just how it is. Like, if you're going up against a Tiny, you just gotta say, Okay, fuck, if we... Like, we gotta shut him down early. Or he'll just simply combo us so hard that the game is over. Like, immediately. So, you know. <laughs> that's just kind of how it goes. I appreciate that. I actually really think that the old school blinking Tiny, that that is back in action. I enjoy that. I think that's cool as hell. Because that's actually how you used to play Tiny. Before he had an Agonyms, you just got... You went mid with Tiny, got yourself a Blink Dagger, and then very much played him as a Roma. Right? He was never much of a carry at that... Well, not never, I guess. Like, at that point, he... Can you give me mana? I suppose that works. But at that point, he really wasn't much of a carry. He was... I really played uh, as like a, um, like a Queen of Pain would be played today, or a Shrug, right? A roaming mid, somebody that's really active and tries to get a lot of kills. Actually, not so much a, a Leshrac, uh, more like a Storm Spirit. Not even that. Damn it! Roaming mids aren't really that common these days. <laughs> but you get the idea, right? Looks like I'm supporting. And uh, that's exactly what I plan on doing today. Well, yeah, you were Zeus, and in this team, uh, Zeus supports. Right? Or am I missing something here? It's fine, you still deal a lot of damage. You're still Zeus. You're still dropping like 10,000 damage every time somebody gets close. By a By a Midas. Yeah. Beastmaster is offline. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, you may be confused. Oh well. <sighs> so, but yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool that we're going back to that. Like, and I, I actually really enjoyed playing that kind of tiny. I always thought that was a ton of fun. I'm actually pretty good with him. I'm actually pretty good with him. So, uh, I of course like used to play a lot of fun, right? Like my kind of, my kind of like history with Dota. I mean, Dota, the original, then Horn, and then Dota 2. So, you know, that was pretty bad. I'm gonna just drop up. Oh, you're dead. Okay, but in that game there was actually uh, a tiny as well, right? Like they had a lot of heroes that were in, or are in Dota, right? It's really that simple. And there was a tiny. So I remember that one day, like a friend of mine who was really just starting out like to play the game, was like, yo, can you like teach me a bunch? I'm like, oh, I guess, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to play tiny and a hero that was called Nymphora. So she would be very... Like, imagine a keep off the light with a global teleport and a heal. Yeah, it's silly. And uh, <laughs> what we basically did is we kind of tried to... Like, I can't explain how to play, like, that combination of heroes to him. Which was just kind of, like, keep roaming with Tiny and fucking blow shit up. And then I just kind of... Played with him with the goal of getting the highest kill death ratio we could get. Wait, why didn't I click on him? Ah, god damn it. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, well. How did I kill them? Scarf match. Well, I didn't actually hit him, so the creeps killed him. And you were the only one that dealt damage that to him. Nice. So, yeah. But we try to, like, get the highest kill death ratio on an account uh, uh, that I just made for the occasion, which I know is kind of mean, but fuck it, it was fun, right? And I ended up going 101 and 1. So, like, 101 to 1. That was my kill death ratio. And at that point, we quit, because I'm like, I'm not gonna get... This, this is not gonna get any better. Let's just keep it at that. <laughs> So yeah, no, no, that was just like a funny thing we did. I don't know, it was a bit, uh, it was a lot of fun to play that game like with, with friends. Uh, not quite enough, but it should allow me to survive. It's actually kind of a silly lane up here. It was crazy. Lots of shit happening. Thanks. No problem. Ah. Stop it with that nonsense. I do want to go for that. I don't know. I probably can't, but I do want to. <laughs> My only uh, fear is that we're gonna run out of healing. And. Uh, oh well, I guess that should be fine though, because like we're actually doing pretty damn well in here. Oh, who has that? Oh, look at that. That Hedros is actually gonna come in super handy. Okay, let me go and just apply some pressure on him. You know, it's a bit of free damage, and we have basically infinite mana. I mean, we have a cuddle of the light going on. Right, so I just don't have to worry about that. Nah. <laughs> I'm really looking for the combo. I really am. But I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh well. I'll keep throwing creeps in. Uh, the thing about that is not only does it like deal a good chunk of damage to that guy, but it also pulls the lane back. Like ever so slightly, but it does. So, hello. Yeah, okay, we're not getting him, but at least I saved my puck. Which was really like the main goal here. Like, I just wanted to make sure he gets out alive. Which, it was, uh, wasn't was certain. Like, he went in pretty deep. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Oh well. God. We actually did a lot of funny shit. Like, both in... Let me just tell you some Dota tales. So, um, of course, like, back in Warcraft 3, everybody fucking sucked. Right? Like, this is something really important you have to keep in mind. Back in Warcraft 3, everybody sucked. A lot. You don't understand how much- you should really be using the mana thing all the time. Like, if it's off cooldown, use it. Unless everybody has full mana. Even then, use it for yeah, reduced sorry, cooldowns. Uh, shopping. Ah, that's fine then, okay. Uh, but everybody was god-awful. Like, really bad. And, uh... Oh, hello, Slog. I don't think I can actually get a kill here. Um. Okay. I'm still alive. Take that. Should get vision. Oh, we have a we have a bird. You have axes. There we go. Okay. Should I get the? Wait, does anybody getting an urn? I could get one. Mm. I buy a mecha. Okay, I'm gonna get an urn. Screw this nonsense. Screw it. <laughs> nonsense is my favorite word right now. But like, you have to keep in mind, like back then everybody sucked, and it's really bad, right? Like you, you imagine people that suck today, right? Like you imagine players that are just really not that great. No, much worse than that. Like, everybody back then was at, like, 500 MMR. And those were the good players. <laughs> Just like, shit. <laughs> People sucked. But uh, Dota was a different game. Like, it was just really quirky and kind of funny, to be honest. 
And I remember like one of my happiest moments while playing that was actually I was I love to play Broodmother in the mid lane. And um, I used to do like pretty well. Like again, everybody sucked and nobody even knew what the fuck detection was. And as a result, there was one game where I did so well that I had enough items that allowed me to one shot a range creep. I know, it doesn't sound particularly exciting, but I saw the one attack come out on the full HP range creep and it died and I couldn't stop laughing. And my buddy who was like, like again I had like three, three people I was playing with at the time. Um, he, all, he, he also saw it and he also couldn't stop laughing. And like the other two didn't understand what the fuck we were talking about, right? But the two of us, it's just like we couldn't, we couldn't. Like, that was so amazing, right? The fact that we just managed to one-shot a creep. Because that just didn't happen back then. Uh, I know. I also like to play a lot of Faceless Void. Uh, you might already notice that there are some heroes that I already liked back then that I still like today. But I like to play a lot of Faceless Void. And... My next level strategy on Faceless Void was to buy... Um, well, Yasha, <laughs> but because Yasha is really good, I just bought another Yasha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but did you know that Yasha is really good? <laughs> so I just bought another Yasha, <laughs> which turns out Yasha is really good. So as a response to my previous three Yashas, I got another Yasha. Mm -hmm. It was some next level strategies. It really was. Eventually, I figured out that you could upgrade the Yasha. And I built a Manta Star. Now, the funny thing about the Manta Star is that at the time, your illusions could actually bash. So, with a Faceless Void, you just perma bash people. So, as soon as I realized that, I was just like, oh, fuck it. I guess I'm just buying Manta Stars. <laughs> oh, man. I remember figuring out that you could combine uh, a Morbid Mask and the Helm of the Iron Will into Helm of the Dominator. Ah! Invisibility! Damn it. Mana, mana, mana. Not to him. What's he even gonna do with that? Almost full. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh no, peace. Peace? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I was really worried there. Oh my god. Please don't leave peace. Please don't leave. Oh well. Okay. Let's get going then. <coughs> uh, but as I was saying, right? Uh, I mean, what was I actually going on about this time? Uh, I actually forgot. Oh well, let's just start something new. I remember my very first Dota game. I know exactly what it was. Uh, I was playing Zeus. And I was going up against the Medusa on the opponent's side. I don't remember anything else. All I know is that I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I just kind of spent all day in the well. Oh, I just remember what I was saying about, like, Helm of the Dominator. Whatever, we're gonna get to that later. But I spent all day in the well. Just farming. Uh, no, just going through the items. Just trying to understand what the shit this is about, right? And eventually, eventually, the Medusa had, like, a Scotty and shit. And was just murdering our base. Damn it! And uh, yeah, supporting Zeus is fun. I'm just like, huh, huh. I seem to have missed something, something of significance. Hello, buddy. Sorry. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. I just can't. Mana <laughs> couple. Like. You're gonna have to die there. Okay, we got ourselves a blink dagger. Um, but uh, 
I remember that at one point that Medusa just started pushing down our base, and that was the only player in the entire game that knew what the fuck was going on, right? So he starts pushing down our base, and I look at his stats, and he's just like plus 50 on like agility. I'm like, what, 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 how does that even, what? Because like in Warcraft 3, those stats did not exist, right? That's just not something that happened. And in Dota, you could go to that point, of course. And it's just like, wow, that's a strong hero. Gotcha. A cartel, give me mana, give me mana, give me mana. Damn it, it's on cooldown. It's on cooldown. I know, why? Stop it. Okay, okay, um. Ah, oh, I guess I can do this. I still hit pretty hard. Okay, got him. Sweet. Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. I like my rune. Rune is pretty damn good. <laughs> God will give mana. God will give mango. Uh, that's the slark again. We can totally kill him. Like we can totally kill anybody. Uh, I suppose I should start buying mana boots as well. <laughs> Just get like seven mangoes and share those. Got to give mango. Mango, mango, mango. Ah, I screwed that up. I wanted to get the long range blank, but ah, didn't quite make it. I was really close. Oh well, I think I'm it was dead. a bit unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, that was just freaking absurd. But anyway, like, what I was talking about with the Helm of the Dominator. I thought that, like, the secret shop was actually a secret. But that nobody knew about it. <laughs> because the only time I ever saw a Helm of the Dominator... Again, you have to keep in mind, people were really bad back then. So bad that they just didn't know how to properly combine items. Like, that is how bad people were. But, uh, I thought that... Like, nobody knew about the Helm of the Dominator, apart from this one awesome guy that built it. And I just, like, copied that and built my Helm of the Dominator, right? And I was like, oh. Oh. What is this witchcraft? Oh, come on now. That should kill. Yeah, she's dead. Yo! Fuck you. Wait, she didn't? She didn't die from that. Top tower, top tower. That is really surprising to me. <clears throat> I thought she was gonna die from that for sure. Okay. Oh, we got Spectre. That's nice. Oh! Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I guess that's a kill. Good. See, we got her after all. Um, there's a Skyrim mage here. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. I guess we're not going for that then. The other fellas lost a mid tower. No. What else was there? What else was there? Hmm. I don't know. What I used to do for quite a while, like, um, there was a period of time where I just realized that I like Dota a lot more than like all of my friends. Right, like I used to, I, I started playing with them, but then like at some point I was like, well no, I just care about this game more than all of you. So, I started playing on my own, like Horn of course, but, ah, same fucking game. It really is, like at that point it really was the same game. I'm not even kidding. Like it's not even a case of like, Trying to be an excuse, like, oh, like I need a fucking excuse for playing a video game. No, but at that point, it was the same game. Um, but I started playing a lot on my own, right? So what I used to do, quite frequently, because at that time it was actually really damn good, um, I just made new accounts <laughs> and stomped through matchmaking and got up to, like, 1800, 1850. <laughs> uh, which, at the, like, I guess in, in the, uh, Dota would be the equivalent to, like, 5, 6k, 5.5k probably, or something around that, like, so pretty high ranking. And the way I did that is I just made a new account, and then I just played Shadow Fiend. All day. And I just, like, ran through f completely flawless, flawless win streaks. That, like, nobody could ever stop me, because they just didn't, didn't know what to do against my Shadow Fiend. That was a pretty damn good Shadow Fiend back then. Okay, there's a Skyward Mage. 
And now there isn't. That's not nice for me. He was counter warding. Those are your wards. You should be happy that I killed them. Oh yes, thank you. If it's so, then. <laughs> but I, I. You deserve it. I, I think there are still wards here. Yeah, don't oh come on now. Okay, got him. Oops. Might have gone in a bit too deep. Might be fine. Might actually be fine. Oh no! Oh okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, not even close. Not even close. Let's see that. But yeah, I just played a lot on my own back then. Until I eventually got the idea with the guilds. Then I opened up guilds and I started queuing with people. And the people I queued with back then were um, mostly haste and communist. Like really the best way to gain um, like MMR, I found back then, was to queue with like two or three people. You don't want to go with a full team because then you ran into groups of full teams. And that made it a bit more difficult. But if you go with two to three people and you're really coordinated and you just like have your playstyle figured out, then you just simply can say, okay, you know what? We can totally make up for anything our team fucks up. And um, like we can just carry this game so efficiently. And we had strategies figured out. Man. She kind of, oh, she went for a diffuser. It's actually probably a smart idea here. They're going for an early fighting build. Because we're just going in on them. Oh well. <sighs> so I I can't I sadly can't come up with that many stories right now. Like I, I just don't remember that many at the moment. It's pretty late. I mean, if it wasn't 3 a.m. I would probably have more of them ready, but I'm sorry. Now, I'll probably talk about those like some other time, but I've been playing Dota for a really long time. Probably for longer than most of you. And um had fun times with that game. It's a good game. It's a really good game. Anyway, by the way, people, 22 minutes into the video. If you enjoyed it so far, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We would definitely appreciate that. Leave a rating for 3 a.m. recording. Go on. <laughs> I think I earned it. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. And uh, we've got our Agonos now. So as you can see, like, even though we didn't spend a lot of time farming, we only have 100 last hits, which is really not that much. Like, just through pure killing, we got a lot of money. Oh, I thought I was gonna blink until I was this lucky. That was really my 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 hope. I might still run into him. Let me find that schlock. Oh, I found the schlock. Schlock. Oops, I found the schlock. Oops. Maybe the schlock found me. <laughs> Your team found you. <laughs> Possibly. Ah, oh, it should be fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Got a team I can rely on. Not, not even close. Oops. Yeah, he totally just gave them a kill. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that's just how you gotta do things, right? Sometimes that's just how you gotta do things. I'm still trying to come up with like different things. I. Oh, something I thought was really cool at one point. I, I was playing a game, and um, I queued into, like, I, I regularly, this is something that regularly happened um, afterwards, but, like, at the time, I, I was still rising in, in MMR, MMR, and uh, for me, it was the first time that I queued into a match with, like, a, just a random professional player, right? There was just a ra professional player who was queuing, and I was queuing at his ranking, so it's just like, oh, hey, what's up? I remember exactly, I was playing Shadowfiend. <laughs> Uh, you might have noticed, I really like Shadowfiend. I even, I used to like Shadowfiend even back then. Fuck, that hero was amazing. Um, I was playing Shadowfiend, and, uh, And I... I had him on my team as a Slada. And that was like one of the best games I ever had. It was really, really crazy. And a big part of that was that like... Apart from us two, like the rest of our team was just significantly worse. You know how you have, I'm sure a lot of you had, you have experienced something like this, where you had a game with, um, like where you're playing matchmaking, and there's just like two people on your team that have like really solid rating, 
then everybody is just like, I don't know, quite a bit below. I was like, how, how did these people end up in one match? Right, and that was one of those cases where the matchmaking was just being a bit weird. And like, how in the living hell did we end up with these idiots? <laughs> and um, that was really cool because it was like this really strong back and forth between me and a professional, professional player. Right, and uh, like at the end, he was like, you did really good right there, buddy. I'm like, yeah, you did too. And it was just fucking cool, right? To get that confirmation from somebody that definitely knows what they're talking about. And just, he was like, no, man. You did, you played that well. I'm like, yeah, thank you. I think I did. <laughs> that was a cool game, though. It was, like, super crazy. Um, but, of course, like, I, Shadow Fiend and, and Slala, like, there's a lot of minus almost energy there. And, I don't know. Worked out pretty well. I used to do chatting with the pros, right? Um, I used to do that quite frequently in Han. And I always invited the professionals afterwards like to come play a one-on-one -on -one with me. Because I think that's really funny. Right? I think that's a fun idea. And uh, I just kind of felt like doing that. So I did. And uh, what I thought was cool were the matches that I actually won. <laughs> Which didn't actually happen that infrequently. That was an awkward four star. Who did that? Is that somebody on my team? No, I don't think so. Yeah, we don't even have a four star. It was somebody from their side. Probably the Skyroth. Yeah, yeah, it was the Skyroth. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, come on now. Oh, I'm dead. Ugh. But I think they're all dead, too. Yeah, look at that. That totally didn't work out for them. Oh, my God. The buybacks. These guys are not giving up. I can respect that. Oh, I definitely do respect that. I need a BKB here. I keep going in too deep. Oh, man. Free buybacks. Wow. But we still got the barracks. Okay. Um, but where I where was I? Hmm. All right. I always challenged them to a one-on-one -on -one afterwards. And what I thought was really funny is when I like proposed ideas to them, that then later became meta game, right? Like for example, to one guy I said, um, what what would you think about playing faceless void offlane, right? You think is that that is a good idea? Because like he has this amazing initiation tool, right? And if you just initiate and then you team f and then like you force early fights with him as the initiator, as long as he just survives the fights, he's gonna get a lot of money either way, and then you can carry with him later. And he's like, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. like, and he, and he like, yeah, we should do that. We should definitely. That's that's a good idea. I don't know, I thought that was also pretty cool, where he's just like, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, no. I don't know why we aren't doing that, because we really should be doing that. <laughs> or, at some point, there was a hero in the game called Solstice, which got implemented, and everybody was jungling with her. And I was the, what seemed like the only one who realized her mid potential. Because she had this really stupid ability that covered the entire mid area, like all of this, right? And dealt like 60 damage per second over 12 seconds or so. Right. Um, can somebody come tank or Sean? Yeah, I will I tank, tank for you all of my HP. That's good. That's all I need. But. Silence. But as I was saying, right, like there was. Um, God, I keep getting distracted. I'm sorry. Don't die. He actually almost died right there. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna take a while. Maybe Beastmaster would be good because he has an aura. Yeah, well, obviously Beastmaster would be good. But if Dear Sir Pooh doesn't feel like coming around, then there's not much we can do about it, right? <laughs> oh well. Uh, right, where, where was I going? I God, I forgot completely what I was talking about. Again. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible. 
I know. I know. All right. But she had this like huge AOE like ability. So what I said was, I'm just. Or what what I said is like, how about I just take her mid, right? And I just win the mid, no matter what, and then I go gank with her. Turns out that was like really fucking strong, but nobody believed me. Like every single time I told somebody that, they're just like, oh, you should just go jungle. So what I did then, I was like, okay, I'll just challenge a pro to one on one mid, right? And I was like, you pick your best fucking hero, and I'm picking Solstice. Fucking beat him. <laughs> and I was just like, Okay, anybody gonna argue about this with me now? No? Didn't fucking think so. <laughs> that was also kind of funny. Oh. Look what I found. But yeah, anyway, enough of that. I could keep going all day, I really could. Like, I, now, that I, now that I think of it, there were so many moments. I remember being at the first international. Which was in Germany, by the way, at the Gamescom, which is why I was there. And there was a game where there was a Doom. Like, Doom was the big scary carry on one side of the field. And I should actually get rid of these illusions. That's an ultimate. I just killed a freaking ultimate like that. That's pretty important. But Doom was on one side of the field, right? And he was just going bonkers. And at one point, he got killed. It was a really, like, even game. And at one point, Doom gets killed, and he buys back, and then Toby just like fucking shouts like, Doom is back, run! And everybody just went crazy over that. Like, that was so fucking cool. Oh well, anyway. Enough of that, enough of that. Yo, what's up, buddy? Wait, really? I wasn't done yet. Well, at least give me mana now. <laughs> Why am I up here now? I could have, like, finished the game. I guess I'm not doing that. I suppose. Oh, okay. I don't really mind all that much, I guess. But it's still a little weird. Okay. Just start working on this town. But yeah. Anyway, old school tiny. Pretty cool. Alright. Pretty damn cool. It was a fun video. I enjoyed this one. I don't know if you guys did too. But I enjoyed it. Oh my god. Mike. Really bought a rape here. Okay, I'm not I'm not putting up with that nonsense. Okay, but me solving ages, you know, you know what that means. Um, I don't know what you think it means, but I know what it means. Better not drop that thing. It means you rapier is gonna be really good on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, 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 another one here. But I don't have a spot. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh well. <sighs> Boom! Did it, boys. Sweet. So, anyway. That should do it for today. It was a fun game. Bit of tiny. Uh, my two deaths were kind of silly, but... Oh, well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating and allow me to go ahead and do the giveaway. Today's winner would be Federico MK Searing 1. Like one of the usuals on the channel. And you win a 40, which would be um, 30, 36, 39, 40. <laughs> I have given that cape away like 5,000 times. But if you want it, feel free to send me a message. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. And I hope to see all of you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.